Chapter Seventeen. Now it came to pass, as Dot said in his house, that Dot said to Nathan the prophet, "Lo, I dwell in an house of cedars, but the ark of the covenant of the Lord remaineth under curtains." Then Nathan said, "Vento Dawid, do all that is in thine heart, for God is with thee." And it came to pass the same night that the word of God came to Nathan, saying, "Go and tell Dod my servant, thus saith the Lord, Thou shalt not build me an house to dwell in, for I how not dwelt in a house since the day that I brought Phoebe Israel until this day, but how gone from tent to tent and from one tabernacle to another." Wheresoever I how walked with all Israel, spake I a word to any of the edges of Israel, whom I commanded to feed my people, saying, Why how ye not built me an house of cedars? Now therefore thus shalt thou save unto my servant Dod, thus saith the Lord of hosts, I took thee from the sheepcote, you and from following the sheep, that thou shouldest be ruler o'er my people Israel, and I how bena with thee whither swear thou hast walked, and how cut off all thine enemies from before thee. And how made thee a name, like the name of the great men that are in the earth? Also, I will ordain a place for my people Israel, and will plant them, and they shall dwell in their place, and shall be mount no more. Neither shall the children of wickedness waste them any more, as at the beginning. And since the time that I commanded judges to be o'er my people Israel, moreover, I will subdue all thine enemies. Furthermore, I tell thee that the Lord will build thee an house. And it shall come to pass, say, when thy days be expired, that thou must go to be with thy fathers. That I will raise Phoebe thy seed after thee, which shall be of thy sons, and I will establish his kingdom. He shall build me an house, and I will establish his throne for you. Or I will be his father, and he shall be my son, and I will not take my mercy away from him, as I took it from him that was before thee. But I will settle him in mine house and in my kingdom for your, and his throne shall be established for your more. According to all these words and according to all this vision, so did Nathan speak unto Dawid. And Dow the king came and sat before the Lord and said, Who am I, O Lord God, and what is mine house that thou hast brought me hitherto? And yet this was a small thing in thine eyes, O God. For thou hast also spoken of thy servant's house for a great while to come, and hast regarded me according to the estate of a man of high degree, O Lord God. What can Dod speak more to thee for the honor of thy servant? For thou knowest thy servant, O Lord, for thy servant's sake, and according to thine own heart, hast thou done all this greatness in making known all these great things, O Lord. There is none like thee, neither is there any god besides thee, according to all that we have heard with our ears. And what one nation in the earth is like thy people Israel, whom God went to redeem to be His own people, to make thee a name of greatness and terribleness, by driving out nations from before thy people, whom thou hast redeemed out of Egypt. For thy people Israel didst thou make thine own people for your, and thou Lord becamest their god. Therefore now Lord. Let the thing that thou hast spoken concerning thy servant and concerning his house be established for you, and do as thou hast said. Let it you and be established, that thy name may be magnified for you, saying, The Lord of hosts is the God of Israel, you and a God to Israel. And let the house of Dod thy servant be established before thee, for thou, O my God, hast told thy servant that thou wilt build him an house. Therefore thy servant hath found in his heart to pray before thee. And now, Lord, thou art God, and hast promised this goodness unto thy servant. Now, therefore, let it please thee to bless the house of thy servant, that it may be before thee for your, for thou blessest, O Lord, and it shall bless it for your. Chapter eighteen. Now, after this, it came to pass say, that Dot smote the Philistines and subdued them, and took Gath and her towns out of the hand of the Philistines. And he smote Moab, and the Moabites became Dod's servants and brought gifts. And Dod smote Hadarzer, king of Zobah, and Tohamath, as he went to establish his dominion by the river Euphrates. And Dod took from him a thousand chariots, and Suan thousand horsemen, and twenty thousand footmen. Dawid also howled all the chariot horses, but reserved of them an hundred chariots. 
and when the Syrians of Damascus came to help Hadarazer king of Zobah, Dawud slew of the Syrians two and twenty thousand men. Then Dawud put garrisons in Syria Damascus, and the Syrians became Dawud's servants and brought gifts. Thus the Lord preserved Dawud, whithersoever he went. And Dawud took the shields of gold that were on the servants of Hadarazer and brought them to Jerusalem. Likewise from Taipath and from Chan, cities of Hadarazer brought Dawud very much brass, wherewith Solomon made the brass and sea, and the pillars, and the vessels of brass. Now when two king of Hamath heard how Dawud had smitten all the host of Hadarazer king of Sobah, he sent Hadarim his son to king Dawud to inquire of his welfare and to congratulate him, because he had fought against Hadarazer and smitten him, for Hadarzer had war with two, and with him all manner of vessels of gold and silver and brass. Them also King Dod dedicated unto the Lord, with the silver and the gold that he brought from all these nations, from Adam, and from Moab, and from the children of Ammon, and from the Philistines, and from Amalek. Moreover, Abishai the son of Zerias slew of the Edomites in the Valley of Salt, 18,000. And he put garrisons in Adam, and all the Adamites became God's servants. Thus the Lord preserved Dawid whither sewer he went. So Dawid reigned o'er all Israel, and executed judgment and Eustace among all his people. And Iob the son of Syria was o'er the host, and Ihashaphat the son of Ahilad, recorder, and Zadok the son of Ahidab, and Abimelech the son of Abiathar, were the priests, and Shosha was scribe. And Benaiah the son of Ahihoiada was o'er the Cherethites, and the Pelethites, and the sons of Dod were chief about the king. Chapter 19 Now it came to pass after this that Nahash the king of the children of Ammon died, and his son reigned in his stead. And Dawid said, I will shew kindness unto Hanan the son of Nahash, because his father shewed kindness to me. And Dod sent messengers to comfort him concerning his father. So the servants of Dod came into the land of the children of Ammon, to Hanan, to comfort him. But the princes of the children of Ammon said to Hanan, Thinkest thou that Dod doth honor thy father, that he hath sent comforters bento thee? Are not his servants come bento thee for to search, and to our throw, and to spy out the land? Wherefore Hanan took Dod's servants, and shot them, and cut off their garments in the middest, hard by their buttocks, and sent them away. Then there went certain, and told Dowd how the men were serued. And he sent to meet them, for the men were greatly ashamed, and the king said, Harry at Yarakov till your beards be growing, and then return. And when the children of Ammon saw, that they had made themselves odious to Dod. Hanan and the children of Ammon sent a thousand talents of silver to hire them chariots and horsemen out of Mesopotamia, and out of Syria Macha, and out of Zobah. So they hired thirty and two thousand chariots, and the king of Mocha and his people, who came and pitched before Medaba. And the children of Ammon gathered themselves together from their cities, and came to battle. And when Dod heard of it, he sent Iab and all the host of the mighty men. And the children of Ammon came out, and put the battel in array before the gate of the city, and the kings that were come, were by themselves in the field. Now when Iob saw that the battel was set against him, before and behind, he chose out of all the choice of Israel, and put them in array against the Syrians, and the rest of the people, he delured Vinto the hand of Abishai his brother, and they set themselves in array against the children of Ammon. And he said, If the Syrians be too strong for me, then thou shalt help me. But if the children of Ammon be too strong for thee, then I will help thee. Be of good courage, and let verses Baha our salus valiantly for our people, and for the cities of our God. And let the Lord do that which is good in his sight. So Iob and the people that were with him, drew nigh before the Syrians, unto the Batel, and they fled before him. And when the children of Ammon saw that the Syrians were fled, they likewise fled before Abishai his brother, and entered into the city. Then Job came to Jerusalem. And when the Syrians saw that they were put to the worst before Israel, they sent messengers, 
and drew forth the Syrians that were beyond the Rywer, and Shafich the captain of the host of Hadarzer went before them. And it was told Dodd, and he gathered all Israel, and passed o'er Iredain, and came upon them and set the Betel in array against them. So when Dodd had put the Betel in array against the Syrians, they fought with him. But the Syrians fled before Israel, and Dodd slew of the Syrians seven thousand men, which fought in chariots, and forty thousand footmen, and killed Shafich the captain of the host. And when the Saruans of Hadarzer saw that they were put to the worst before Israel, they made peace with Dodd and became his servants, neither would the Syrians help the children of Ammon any more. Chapter 20 And it came to pass a, that after the year was expired, at the time that kings go out to Batel, Iob led forth the power of the army, and wasted the country of the children of Ammon, and came and besieged Rabbah. But Dod tarried at Jerusalem, and Iob smote Rabbah, and destroyed it. And Dod took the crown of their king from off his head, and found it to weigh a talent of gold, and there were precious stones in it, and it was set on Dodd's head, and he brought also exceeding much spoil out of the city, and he brought out the people that were in it, and cut them with saws, and with harrows of iron, and with axes, even so dealt Dodd with all the cities of the children of Ammon, and Dodd and all the people returned to Jerusalem. And it came to pass after this, that there rose war at Jezer with the Philistines, at which time Sibachai the Hushathite slew Sippi, that was of the children of the giant, and they were subdued. And there was war again with the Philistines, and Ilhanan the son of Iair slew Lami the brother of Goliath the Gittite, whose spear staff was like a war's beam. And yet again there was war at Gath, where was a man of great stature, whose fingers and toes were four and twenty, six on each hand, and six on each foot. And he also was the son of the giant. But when he defied Israel, Anathan the son of Shimea Dawad's brother slew him. These were born Vento the giant in Gath, and they fell by the hand of Dod, and by the hand of his Saruans.